Good morning, everyone. Today is December 1st, and in our journey of a year in solids, we are going to be starting the December quilt. Here is what the December quilt looks like. And these are the fabrics that I'm using. I'm using Riley Blake Confetti Cotton. I have Tomato, Holly, and Riley White. There is a free printable on my blog that has the schedule of the quilt along. There'll be an assignment every week for the month of December. And the assignment this week is to take a look at the pattern, cut your fabric out, and make your strip sets. So that's what I'm going to do now. Here I'm working cutting on the red strips. When you're, when you're cutting your strip sets, make sure your ruler is firmly down and hold it in a position so that it doesn't slip. I like to place my hand right in the middle, but you'll have your own favorite spot. If the roller does slip, the best thing is to just cut a new piece because it will matter when you're piecing these strip sets later. I find that cutting all of the pieces of the quilt at once will greatly improve the speed of with which you'll work through the quilt. I used to cut one block at a time or one section at a time and that worked and if that's what works for you that's fine but once I started cutting out a whole quilt at a time I was able to work through it with so much more ease because everything was already ready for me. And whenever I was ready to work on, like whenever I had a few minutes to work on a piece, I could go ahead and grab whatever I need. It was there and I could just sit down and start sewing. So I really love that because the sewing is probably my favorite part. And by doing all the cutting at once, when I had time, I could just go and sit down and really work on the quilt. Now, when you're cutting, some of these measurements here um, are precise. They're to the 7 eighths of an inch. When you're cutting to the 7 eighths of an inch, it's no different than cutting to a whole number. You need to find the portion on your ruler. So on my ruler here, you can see these numbers. This is one, two, three, four, five. This line here would be six, but I'm going right before that to the seventh eighths, which is right here, these little dashes under the circles. As long as you know where your measurement is, you'll be able to line your fabric up with it, no problem. So before you start cutting anything with a measurement that you don't cut often, take the time to find it on your roller, know where it is. You can mark it with washi tape if you want, and then that way you'll be able to line your fabric up correctly and make the correct cuts. I'm cutting the green squares from the pattern. Now for these, I will use my long roller to cut, as I did here, the strip. And then I switch to a square roller to cut the squares. This is just the way I prefer to do it, but you can do it either way. You can use your long roller the whole time. Now if I was going to use this roller, I would pay attention to where my 7 8 inch is here. And I would just make sure I'm lining my fabric up correctly. So here I'm going to cut this edge off. The salvage edge, I'm going to get rid of that. Then I'm going to line my roller up. And make a cut. And I have four layers of fabric stacked here, so I just cut four squares. I'm going to continue doing that with the rest of the green. The other option here is to cut your strips all next to each other on your cutting mat, have them still be lined up, and then cut your squares together all at once with your long ruler. So I'll show you how I do that. Everything is lined up and straight here on the bottom. So I would just take my ruler, I'd line it up with the correct measurement, hold it steady, and then cut. 
So here I just did, I have each one of these is four layers. So I cut 12 squares in one pass. And then you would just continue doing this all the way up your fabric. And then one more time. And these I throw in my scrap bin for later use. And the squares I stack in my pile. And now we have all the squares cut. For this next part, I'm going to be using my 12 and a half inch square ruler. And that is because my long ruler, which is uh, 24 and a half inches, the biggest one I have measures eight and a half inches wide. The next squares that I'm cutting are bigger than that. I'm going to make sure everything is lined up nice on my cutting mat. And then I'm gonna use the lines around the cutting mat and the lines on my ruler to cut the size of the piece that I need. So I first start at the lower edge. I make sure everything is lined up correctly and I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut right to where my ruler stops. I'm gonna pick it up and line it up again. Continue, I'm gonna go in the part that's already cut. I'm like letting my rotary cutter feel that crack and then I'm gonna continue cutting. I need one more strip of this. I had four layers there, so I'm folding back one of the layers. I need one more strip, so I'm gonna repeat it again. So I'm lining up the measurement with the cut mark I just made. All my ruler is lined up with the mat also on the bottom. I'm gonna cut till the top, pick the ruler up and move it. Find the spot that I already cut at and then continue cutting. So now I have the larger strips of the green cut. Now for these, I feel confident stacking this. I cut through six layers quite often. If you don't, then cut whatever you feel um, comfortable to. So this is six layers of fabric. I have stacked that one that was cut by itself with the other two layers. I'm making sure that they're matching correctly and I'm laying them on my cutting mat. I'm gonna put the selvage edge a little bit past one of the lines so that I can use those lines to help cut a straight uh, part now. And I'm gonna cut it here. So I'm lining my ruler up with this inch line here on the mat and that will completely remove the selvage edge. And then I can just go ahead on and cut. Now these, we're gonna cut these into squares and then we're gonna subcut them into triangles. So let's cut the squares first. I'm making sure everything is laying correctly and then I'll make the cut and I'll repeat that process one more time for this. Okay, this will go on my scrap bin. And now for, th for these blocks, we're cutting them on both diagonals to make triangles. So I'm gonna switch to my long ruler for that. I'm gonna gently move one of the stacks out of the way. I'm going to line up my ruler from corner, bottom corner to top corner. My ruler is gonna be laying just even with those corners. Fiddle with it till you get it right because these the accuracy here matters. Hold it down so you make sure you're not slipping at either point because that will affect your triangle and then go ahead and cut. Now for these, I usually don't pick them up once I have that cut made. A uh, rotating uh, rotary mat can help, but I'm comfortable with doing it like this. I place my ruler along the other diagonal, point to point, come across and cut, and then here I'm left with triangles. Now this was six layers of fabric at once, so six, 12, 18, 24. I just made 24 triangles. And we have to do that one more time with this remaining square. So I'm gonna very carefully move that down so I can cut it nicely and so that I don't move any of them, that they're all perfectly still in a stack because if you moved any of them, it would affect the accuracy of the triangles. 
I'm going to repeat the process. There we go. And these are our other 24 triangles. So we have all our green pieces cut, all of our red pieces cut, and I'm going to work on the white now. I have the white laid out and I'm working on cutting out the strips for the strip piece in section of the quilt. I just cut these in rows right next to each other. I cut as many as I can fit across my cutting mat until I get to the number and that we need. And if I can't, then I'll cut as many as I can that will fit this area and then I will reset the fabric and do it again. You want to try to make these as accurate as possible because it will affect your star shape. If I can keep these edges in line without having to cut and straighten them, I will do that. So uh, generally I'll pull it over very carefully to keep them in line and then I'll hold it in place with my roller and then I will sort the rest of the fabric so that it's laying flat on my cutting mat while I'm holding pressure on the roller because that won't, it won't disturb these edges then. If they do get disturbed, I just make a fresh cut to even them out and then continue cutting. But if I can help it, uh, I try to. So here they're, they're still okay, they still look good. So I'll just continue cutting. Okay, so that's all of the ones we need for the strip set. I'll stack these out of the way for now. And we'll cut the last portion of the white. Again, um, I'm gonna try to bring this over. There's only a little bit left. So once I have it here, I'll just straighten out the rest with my hands. Now the next um, cut that we're making is a big one. So I'm actually gonna use my mat. When I use my mat for larger pieces, I make sure that the cut edge is right in line with the zero of the cutting mat and then I will count to see how many we need to go and then I will lay my ruler with the measurement I make sure that the ruler is perfectly in line on the bottom which you can't see but down here and also up here on the mat and there I have our large piece what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna gently turn this I prefer to cut vertically than horizontally, so I'm just turning it so I can cut this piece easier. And I'm gonna line it up with my mat just like I did before. I'm gonna use my ruler measurements to cut this, but I'm lining it up so I can trim the selvage edge off. I'm gonna do that first. Okay, once that's off, now I'm going to use the measurements on my ruler to cut. So I line my ruler up with the very edge of the fabric and cut, and then just repeat this all the way across. Now all of our sashing is cut from these two pieces. I'm gonna stack those up and we did it. The quilt is cut out. Two color quilts, well in this case three color, they are so much faster to cut than your standard uh, quilt using prints. So I'm gonna lay all my cut pieces out and we'll take a look at them. Here is everything we need to make the December quilt from a year in solids.